one of the last sections of the Patient tab is the Other Information section. This gives you the ability to add additional patient information through various fields. To start, we have the Notes button. From here, you can enter a note and then select which screens in Practice Manager you would like the note to appear on. Keep in mind that you must select the pop-up option from the drop-down notification menu in order for the note to appear in these windows. You may also set a specific expiration date for the pop-up if necessary. Once you are finished entering your note, click Add to List. You will notice that the Notes button will now be highlighted in red to notify you and other users about the note. Next, we have the More Patient button, which allows you to enter additional patient information. This area is broken up into three sections, Additional Information, Billing Information, and Patient Representatives. The Additional Information area allows you to enter information such as date of death, military information, maiden name, and advanced directives. If the patient does have advanced directives, you may enter that information in the Advanced Directives section. Here you may specify their choice in regards to DNR status, mechanical ventilation, feeding tubes, antibiotics, and organ donor information. You also have the option to view their health proxy as well. The next section is the billing information. Here you can specify whether or not to defer patient billing, defer insurance claims, or set up a budget amount for the patient. When a budget amount is configured, that amount will be billed to the patient on a monthly basis instead of the patient's entire balance. The last part of this section is the patient representative area. Here you can set up a representative on the patient's behalf, such as an emergency contact, healthcare proxy, legal guardian, next of kin, primary caregiver, or power of attorney. Once you have finished entering information in this section, press Save below. Notice that the button will be highlighted in red whenever more information is configured for the patient. The next area of the Other Information section is the Patient Statement button. The Patient Statement button allows you to configure the manner in which the patient statements will be printed for this specific patient. This option should only be configured, however, should this particular patient need information that is different from the normal information printed on the patient statement. Next, we have the Family Links button. This window will allow you to link different patients to a family so that whenever an address or insurance change is made, the various changes will be automatically updated for all the patients within that family link. For the next section, we have an additional area to record phone numbers for the patient. Practice Manager by default has three phone types, Primary Home, Primary Work, and Primary Cell. In the event that your patient has additional contact numbers, such as their vacation home, you may enter them here. To do so, select Add, then find your phone number type. Add the phone number, and then press OK. Finally, you may select Close to close out the window. Notice again that if there are additional numbers linked to the patient, the phone tab will also be highlighted in red. Next, we have the consent button. In this section, you have the ability to configure consent for your patient in regards to their medication history, access to health information exchanges, or immunizations. To start, we have the medication history consent section. This allows you to configure a patient's consent for electronically accessing their medication history through the Shortscripts network. Next is the HIE Consent section. This allows you to configure the patient's consent for importing and exporting data for each applicable health information exchange that they are linked to. And lastly, we have the Immunization section, which allows you to configure the patient's registry status and whether or not to share immunization information with other clinicians. The last feature of the Other Information section is the Send Email option. This allows you to send an email to the patient through your local email client when their email address field is completed. Notice that there are additional options above the Other Information section. For example, the Print Clinical Summary option will allow you to print the summary of the patient's visit 
if their electronic progress note was entered in Chartmaker Clinical. You will also have the option to view the patient's account status through the Balance View button. Here you will find an overview of the specific account balance, including aging balances and recent activity. If the patient has an outstanding balance, you will notice that this button becomes highlighted. Once you have finished entering or editing information for this patient, be sure to click the Save button at the bottom of the screen so that any additions and modifications are saved.